Hey, if you're new here to the Avenue Church, we want to welcome you. My name's Casey, and I get to serve as one of your pastors today. And today is a special day. We think, we think every time God's people gather is like radically special. But today, um, we're gathering, but we're also starting with a baby dedication. We get to invite a new little baby into our family. And, and the reason we dedicate is it, it kind of makes it a bit more formal. And it, it also includes you guys in that, um, in that moment. And so um, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to call this family up here uh, in just a minute. I don't want you guys to have to stand and hold your baby the whole time. But I, I'm not going to be super long-winded either. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about why we dedicate babies here and uh, what that means. And so today we're going to be dedicating um, Brinley, and she's with J uh, Bessica, Bessica and Jen. She's with Jessica and Ben, mom and dad. And um, listen to what Jesus has to say in Matthew 19. Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. And you can see there in Jesus' invitation, there's some weight, right? There's like some responsibility. And you have to ask yourself, who is that responsibility to? Who's that responsibility? In this particular passage and throughout all of the scripture, we see that the responsibility lies in two different areas. It lies in the parents and it lies in the family of God. Both working together because obviously it was the parents who were bringing their children to Jesus. And in that passage, it was actually the disciples who were kind of like holding them back. And Jesus is like, no, don't ever do that. As a matter of fact, the gospel compels you to bring them in. And so today, um, we are here to highlight both the parents um, and the church uh, in honor of, of Brindley and in light of salvation. And so um, sort of like, what is this, what's a win today? A win today is that we make much of Jesus. And so, so a baby dedication, it doesn't mean um, salvation. It, it doesn't mean that um, Brinley doesn't need to look to Jesus for her own salvation. What it means is that because of salvation, because Jesus has died and risen again, they're now dedicating their parenting, their marriage, and their precious little child to raising her in a way that would point toward Jesus. Amen. That's what baby dedication is all about. And so I have a couple of um, questions that I'm going to ask you guys. So would you guys come on up, please, and, and bring beautiful um, baby Bryn Lee. Hey. Can we hear it for this new family? Hey. We're so excited to have you guys. And we, oh my goodness, she's smiling on cue. This is amazing. It doesn't always happen like this, everybody, okay? So thank you, Brindley. You look so beautiful today. Oh my goodness. Wow. Good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you? How you doing? Are you doing okay? Okay. Is, would it be okay if I held you? Would that be okay? Oh, we'll see. Hi, sweetie. Oh. Oh. Mm. I'll let mommy hold you for a minute, okay? <laughs> That'll be way better. A lot of people feel that way about my preaching too. It's okay. It's totally fine. Family here. Well, I'm going to pray for you at the end, okay, Brindley? So I'm coming back for you. All right. Parents, um, a few questions that I have for you guys. Uh, and the cool part about why we do this publicly is it's, um, you know, like in baptism, you affirm some things publicly. And so you guys are going to affirm some things that it's going to be good for you. And it's going to be good for us to know um, kind of how to help you. And so question number one is this. Do, do you now dedicate yourselves to Jesus, to putting him first um, with, with your head and like pursuing his word and reading his word and, and finding out as much as you can about his living word and, and with your heart to honoring Jesus above all else and making him your treasure and with your hands to, to read the scriptures to Brinley, to pray for Brinley, to hold her and embrace her and to be as affectionate as the father has been towards you. Do you dedicate yourselves to that? Yes. Awesome, awesome. Parents, do you now dedicate yourselves to your marriage uh, and to putting that as a priority because of Christ but also because of Brinley, realizing that a healthy marriage is one of the best gifts you can give Brinley. Do you dedicate yourself to your marriage? Yes. Awesome, awesome. Parents, do you now dedicate yourselves to your church family? And what that means is understanding that Brinley's best hope for falling in love with Jesus 
is that she learns to fall in love with the family of Jesus. God does his best work in community and in family and all those sorts of things. And, and that's why God exists, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, in a community. That's like a family. And then he calls us to exist in a family. And so today we're asking, do you dedicate yourself to being a part of this family? And, and there's different seasons of that. Some seasons you can be super involved. In some seasons you're kind of like on survival mode. We totally get that. Um, but, but, but this is a question that says, hey, we're going to be here. We're going to give the best of ourselves to this church because we realize not only is it good for Bryn Lee and us, but it's how we go on mission for Jesus. And so do you dedicate yourselves to, to this family as your church? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Now I have a question for you guys, okay? You guys ready? All right. No crying like Bryn Lee, okay? You got it. You got this. We want to hear you. AC family, real simple. Do we now dedicate ourselves to looking at this family and this child, Bryn Lee, as though she were our own, giving the best of who we are so that she might know the best of who God is. If that's yes, on the count of three, say, we do. One, two, three. We do. Yes, love that, love that, love that. Now, at this time, um, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna offer a simple prayer of dedication um, over Brinley, and I'm gonna ask if you have any uh, special friends or family that you wanna invite to, to come up at this time. They could come up, and, and we'll all uh, just kinda uh, gather around here in a circle. And um, if, if you're a, a regular part of the AC family, and this is your church family, I'm gonna ask that at this time that you would stand and extend your right hand, and in so doing, it's, it's as if you're, you're praying with us as, as like one large family. So would you stand and just raise your right hand towards Brinley and um, Brinley, I'm going to make this so quick, okay? But I do want to hold you if that's okay. <laughs> Father, thank you so much for Brinley. Lord, we love her and we cherish her because you love her and cherish her. And we dedicate her to you, Lord Jesus. Would you fill her with your spirit and grace? Amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.